Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Planet Zoo in our Zoo Quest Sanctuary. We are looking at our beautiful albino dwarf caiman, who now is about to have a name. So we are going to actually pause for a moment, look at our beautiful caiman, <laughs> and I believe Mystic is the one who suggested the name for the dwarf caiman and i absolutely adore it instead of tc our caiman is going to be water lily i just love that i think it's so beautiful she has a lily amongst the water and with that white white hide of hers my goodness those white scales are so beautiful water lily is an amazing name thank you mystic and our vet is currently named Valentine Cash, but we will be renaming our vet. So I do believe the first person, if I remember correctly, that asked for the vet title as of this time, we will have lots of vets, so don't panic, but I believe the first one to ask was Western Gates. So, this vet's name is Western, last name Gates. Congratulations, Western, you are officially an animal vet. And here is our first and only zookeeper for the moment. Uh, we will probably have many zookeepers as well since they do need to be spread out throughout the zoo and I do plan on making a big zoo. But we are going to name this zookeeper Eco Legends. <laughs> and that is after Eco Leafs Legends, who is a fellow YouTuber who I love so very much. She is an amazing friend, and you should definitely go check out her channel if you haven't. But this zookeeper will be named after her. And again, if you wanted to be a zookeeper, there will be more in the future, so don't worry. And just keep posting every time I'm like, hey, new zookeeper available, go ahead and put your name down there. And hopefully you will be one very soon. And don't forget folks that we do still have a mechanic, a security guard, and a caretaker. I know those positions aren't as exciting as a zookeeper or a vet, but those positions are still available to be named and you could still be in the zoo. Imagine being a security guard and you're responsible for protecting these animals and the staff that make the animals happy, or you're a caretaker that keeps litter from getting to the animals you care about so much, protecting them from the damage it could cause and the stink, oof. You're protecting all the staff from the stink of trash. <laughs> That's still a really important job. And our mechanics also have an extremely important job of researching how to make this zoo better. So that's another big job that you could be named after. So don't shy away from those just because they don't seem as exciting as a zookeeper or a vet. Those are still really important. So I encourage you, if any of that interests you, put your name down in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to tickle that like button. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because this series is probably going to be on the channel for a very, very long time. It takes a while to build a zoo. <laughs> and I do hope that you will join our community. Speaking of mechanics, Circle E actually told me that I need to put my mechanics onto some research work, which is uh, kind of important. So we're gonna be doing that. I was thinking of a few themes. I really, really love the Arctic theme. It looks very uh, Norse, and as I have mentioned in other series, I love just Norse everything. Uh, this looks very Viking-esque, and so I'm really tempted to do that one. I also love the conservation theme. This is kind of the stuff that I wanted to put in this little shed over here, but we've got so many. I think it's just up to us with what we want to start with. I love these different staff facilities that we could add in. If we don't want to have to go through the task of building custom ones, we could just say, you know what, that looks pretty good and put it out built and let it go. I think for right now, I'm going to have Francesco research the Arctic theme. And then once the Arctic theme is done, we will switch over to conservation because those are my top picks for right now. 
Also, for another name, we had Atlas suggest a name for our sweet axolotl, and that is going to be Jay. So this is Jay, our little axolotl, which is adorable. I love axolotls so much. And if I remember correctly, I don't think I received any names for our bullfrogs or our turtles. So don't forget to leave name suggestions for those animals as well. Also, Emily had a really, really good suggestion for our caiman, and that was to move the bullfrogs to the other side of the axolotl and move the bathrooms to possibly increase a little bit of space for our caiman so that it's happy and doesn't possibly attract protesters, which we would really like to avoid in our zoo. We are playing on easy for our first zoo. I don't want to cut corners or anything just because we're playing on an easier difficulty. I want to play this right. So we are gonna move some stuff around and then I will bring you back once I've made a little bit more room for our caiman. One eternity later. Phew, that took a stupid amount of time to figure out how I wanted to do just to like realign the floor and to make more space for our caiman. But I was actually able to get the floor kind of working. I was thinking for this because I couldn't figure out how to fix this and I'm sure that y'all will be telling me in the comments how many ways I could probably fix this. I did think it might actually be cool to cover the grass in like a black uh, strip on the bottom and we could put info on that particular animal on that side and that way we have plenty of education. Will it cause some crowding issues? Probably, but since we're lining these up right next to each other, then this is a good spot for all the screens and things that we need to inform people. I know that you can add education on these guys which we could probably go ahead and do. We also need to sell some of the babies that we've got. Uh, so let's go in and let's look at our animals right now. Okay, so this is our first female that we got and this is our first male that we got. Um, we did go ahead and make her infertile for now because we don't want to overcrowd. So for these, I think we could probably, uh, we could probably sell these. We could send them to the trade center or we could quick trade. I don't know which one's better to be honest. Uh, maybe we could just quick trade. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a great way to make money. So what we can do is we could sell the rest of her babies, take her off the contraceptives, and then let her continue breeding and we could, as long as she's old enough, we could make money this way. Perfect. So now, now that their exhibit's not totally stuffed, we'll take her off, um, which hopefully will happen in just a second. And then if she has another bunch of babies, we can sell them and get some months. All right, so now that we've made our caiman a little bit happier, I'm gonna go ahead and try getting some of this exhibit to look a little bit better. We have a little more room for some coverage. As you can see, we could add just a little bit more. So we're gonna do that, try and smooth some of this out a little bit and hopefully our caiman will get closer to 100%. It may not get any better than that, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Perfect, water lily is currently at 90%, which is incredible. It does look like we could possibly add another caiman in here. I'm a little concerned. We could see how it does. And there's our new caiman. Everything is looking pretty good. They seem to be getting along okay for the moment. For some reason it's saying our water isn't quite up to par. I could try and fix that. But otherwise they seem okay. Are you guys gonna get along? <gasps> Yay! Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Phew, crisis averted with that. I did end up putting in a water cleaner. 
I think it helped because once I placed it, the water was immediately clean. Thank goodness. Whew. I was a bit worried about that. I was wondering if we shouldn't have a little bit of fun with this water. Like, we can change the color. Mist color, water color. We can make the water color, like, green and murky. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Uh, what? Should we have a few bubbles in it? I feel like bubbles would be fun. Let's do a little bit of bubbles. Bubble. I love the bubble. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. We got bubbles, we got murky water. It's my favorite. And we got a water cleaner. Oh, I finally got some education boards on these. I feel really bad it's taken me this long. I decided to do plants instead of the signs right there, but I think that's super, super cute. I also think right here I might end up putting a bench with some flowers. That way it could possibly be a resting point for some people, just in case they need a break. I think benches are a good idea. Go, oh, jeez! Oh, that's a problem! Go fix! Go fix right now! Oh my gosh! You see what I mean, guys? Being a mechanic, that's important. <laughs> Woo! Mechanic, why have you not fixed this yet? Mechanic urgently requested. Oh boy! Mechanic, hurry! Hurry, this is bad! This is bad news bears! What is that? Um... Water Lily, did you have babies? Oh, okay. Water Lily had the babies. Oh, 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 okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. Look at these beautiful babies. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What if we want to keep a baby? What do we do? Ah, uh, okay. Um, um, um. Oh, oh my. Oh, there's so many babies. This has slowly gone out of control. Okay, okay. Uh, Emberly, stop. Um, hmm. Must sell the babies. Uh, quick trade. That sounds great. <laughs> we got a lot of babies. Oh, look at this. Look at all these gold babies. What does it mean when they have gold medals? I can't remember. Oh, geez. Okay, so... Should we keep some of the younger ones? They won't be able to breed anymore, but, uh... Okay, I think, I think we'll just sell them for now. Y'all tell me what is the... What is the best thing to do? Should you keep your original ones until they pass and then buy new ones? Should you put them in the trade center? Like, what is the best thing to do? Look at all these cute names. Oh my goodness. Okay, but we did put Emberly on a contraceptive. We will probably be doing the same. Uh... I mean, it's not bad. We're like hopefully helping out the environment by doing this and they're getting released into the wild. We're getting quite a bit of money from it, which is great. Um, um, okay. Um, wow. So we had Water Lily and Andre to start with as far as I remember. Look at these beautiful babies. Oh my gosh, running a zoo? Running a zoo takes a lot of effort, y'all. I know, I called the mechanic. Where is the mechanic? Why isn't he here? This is a problem. Mechanic urgently requested. Are you blocked off? Can you not get here? Mechanic. That's the caretaker. Where is the mechanic? Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, where is my mechanic? I'm hiring a new mechanic! There! <laughs> Fix it, please! I think it's because my mechanic is researching. He can't do anything. You got this, brother. I believe in you. 
Okay, thank goodness we got a mechanic. Oh. Well, cool. We can have one walking around and we can have one doing research. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. We could have another vet. I don't think there's anything wrong with having another vet potentially. Plus that our vet is currently overworked. Okay. In that case, I think I can actually name this vet. Perfect. All right, Crystal Walker, you are now Circle first name E last name. Love it so much. Miss Circle E. The pay is fair. That is good. Very happy about that. We have another vet. We probably have more staff than we need, but you know what? That's okay. What we're going to do instead, we are going to go to our staff. We're going to go ahead and train since, let's see, what are we doing with research right now? Vet research. Okay. It isn't very far along, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to let Circle E finish this. And I'm going to have Western train. Hopefully with the training, Western will feel a little better. Why is your happiness bad? Why is your happiness bad? Are you worked too hard? I mean, fixing water is, is very boring. <laughs> All right. Now that we are functioning relatively well, we have two more vets. We'll probably need another zookeeper at some point, but I only have one zookeeper building, so we're just gonna hold off on that. Hopefully our vet building can handle two vets. I didn't even think about that. Uh, where's the vet building? Here, surgery. Staff, none? What do you mean staff, none? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I guess because nobody's in vet surgery right now. Got you. Oh, I see. I see. I am aware. Now, what is going on? Perfect. Mechanic research complete. Excellent. Continue. Finish that up and then you're going to get some training goodness. I feel like we have just been running around crazy and then playing with plants. That's all we've done this episode. I do think we're ready to add some animals into our other small exhibit. So I'm going to take a look at what there is available. Oh my gosh, there's so many lions for sale. Look at you. Wow. What is this? The Danube Crested Newt? I kind of want this in here. <gasps> wow, that exhibit's really pretty. Okay, wait, so then I don't want to do any insects because this is the reptile house. Let's do, oh, a fire salamander sounds awesome. <gasps> I want this one. Golden poison frog. Heck yes. Oh my gosh! Wait, what? What's your problem? What's going on? Oh, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. For the love of Talos, pause. Okay, um, so let's fix some stuff. This needs to go down just a smidge. Maybe like here. Okay, and then this needs to go up a little bit. All right, now let's click on this one. Woo, the humidity! It needs to be way up. Let's try that. All right, play. How are we doing? Let's fix it. We're gonna fix it. I'm fixing it, baby. I'm fixing it. Too much, too much, too much. We're going back down. We're going back down. Too much still? Okay, back down. Better? Are we better? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. No keepers. It needs more. Size is too small. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Firstly and foremostly, we're gonna pause. <laughs> and let's go to zoo. 
Let's go to work zones. Edit work zone. Let's add these. Hopefully we're not overloading our people here. Is this also a work zone? Oh, okay, that works. All right, perfect. Done. Excellent. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is becoming easier and easier. Okay, so this is good. Let's hit. Let's look at to animal trading again. Uh, exhibit trading, I mean. Let's refresh. Oh no, there's no more frogs. This is a problem. <gasps> Can you be in an exhibit with other types of frogs? Tell me. Oh no. It's gonna be so sad and lonely. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Wait. Refresh. 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 Okay, we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to check this regularly. How are you though? Are you good socially? Is your social group good? Social health is good. Social health is really bad. Really, but so lonely. Okay, we're gonna have to fix this by research. That's what we're gonna have to do. No pressure. Okay, Western, sorry, you had to skip out on training so that you could go in and research our poor frog. Now, can we add anything to your exhibit? Yes, we sure can. Excellent. This is looking a lot better. My patrons are still getting rained on, but that's all right. Honestly, y'all, this is looking pretty good. I know it's just a box right now. Uh, we're going to do a lot of decorations on the outside. Like, I want to do maybe some statues and things. I wouldn't mind having, like, a corner right here where maybe we just do some plants and some informational stuff, and then it continues down this way. I want this to be kind of long, and then I want it to kind of maybe transition into a insect exhibit but we might keep this exclusively just a reptile house the biggest reptile house i've ever seen yay oh, i love it gotta love it this is bothering me though i'm wondering if i can figure out how to fix this all right Oh, I really like the beams that I added right there. I wish I could fix this. I think I'm going to try to. <laughs> I just like kept going like out and out and out, but I thought it would line up and it didn't, unfortunately. Is our water thing broken again? Is it? Am I about to be upset about this? <laughs> oh dear. Please fix. Please fix. Mechanic, please. <laughs> oh boy. It's totally fine. All right. Our turtle is done. So let's add the remainder of the enrichment. Perfect. That's done. How are you doing? You are very unhappy. So let's at least give you some enrichment for the love of all things. Let's check the exhibit trading. <gasps> yes! There are more! Perfect! Adopt! Send to zoo! Go! <laughs> You're great! Adopt! Send to zoo! Go! One more! Adopt! Send to zoo! Go! Perfect. Now they're happy. <laughs> The things we go through. Good thing we got those into trading. Mechanic, where are you? Mechanic, please. Mechanic, do your job. How is our beautiful Caymans doing? Good, good. Are you? Wow, this must be taking a really long time. How broken is this? Oh, I see. Everything's breaking all at once. <laughs> Phew, remembering education is important, and I want to finally make the inspector happy with our one exhibit. <laughs> oh my goodness, or habitat, I should say. We do have our other exhibits going. I still am like, wow, we haven't done very much. This still is not fixed. Sir, 
Sir, you know how to fix this. I don't know what to tell you. Bro. Please? Please fix it? Please? Please? Oh my goodness. Oh my G. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. It's totally fine. Phew. Well, we did a lot today. I can already see my hair has gone crazy with me doing this multiple times. <laughs> We added two more small exhibits. We really, oh dear. Oh dear, we're breeding. I, f I forgot, I forgot. Oh no, I didn't do contraceptives. Oh no, oh no. Okay, 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 it's fine. Stop. Oh good, there's only one female. So it's fine. Had two babies. Totally, we'll just do a quick trade. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'm trying to do an outro and everything is having babies. Captive birth, that's great. That's great, quick trade. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Are all our animals, we have so many animals. That is babies, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, gravy. I'm so glad our research is done. Excellent. I know it needs repair. I've already called a mechanic. Don't know why the mechanics aren't doing their job. They can get back here. I will happily move one. Where are my mechanics? Sir. Sir, I'm going to move you. Fix it. Now. No! Go fix it! Hello? Oh, how do I make him fix it? I have two mechanics and the water treatment is still breaking, guys. Come on. Come on. You're not even overworked. You're just not doing your job. Uh, understandable. That's fine. I'm gonna need another research center. No big deal. Okay, everything is breaking. Totally fine. <laughs> Anyways, even though it doesn't look like we did a lot, we did. We actually, look at our little frogs. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> we added two new exhibits. We fixed the Cayman habitat where they're much happier. Thank you guys so much for all your advice on that. Um, and especially Emily who suggested, why don't you just move the bathroom and the bullfrogs to see if you can't make some room that worked beautifully. Our caimans are so much happier. Research is going swimmingly, even though I need another research center. No big deal. I can make that happen. So, oh, running a zoo is hard. It's a lot of work. I can see why people could get burnt out of it very quickly, which is why when you go to the zoo, you should always make sure that you thank all the workers you see. They're clearly working hard. All right, y'all. I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And jingle the bell to get notified of when I post Planet Zoo. Especially because next time we'll probably be finishing up this building and simultaneously working on a new exhibit, which I'm excited about. I'm kind of having fun with the reptiles, which I didn't think I would, but I really, I really liked the caiman exhibit. I think caimans are the cutest. <laughs> also don't forget to click the follow me link down below if you want to see me live on twitch or if you want to join discord to talk with the community every single day i love you guys thanks again for watching and i will see you next time for more planet zoo bye